everyone. Today we're in the kitchen, Kim's RV Kitchen. We're going to be cooking a zucchini shrimp scampi. <laughs> diet so I went ahead and I purchased the spiralizer this one is a spiral life brand I don't know the difference between one or the other I just bought one and this is the one that came from Amazon that I got so we're going to shred this up to make it spaghetti it's really kind of cool I've never used one before so I'm gonna finish shredding this up and I'm gonna come back to you and show you how we make it crank on that thing show them how that thing works can you see it oh yeah look at that see what it does isn't it cool so you should all right, y'all out I'm gonna there. I'm going to try to get some greens in Daryl's diet. There you go. He, he's going to be dying having to eat this. Here's some fiber. <laughs> All right, so just uh, remember, like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll be back after I get everything together. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, we're back. Let me tell you what is in this that we're going to try today. It has got two tablespoons of unsalted butter, one pound of deveined peeled shrimp, medium, three cloves of garlic, a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a fourth a cup of chicken stock, juice of one lemon, kosher salt and black pe pepper to taste, one and a half pounds of zucchini spaghetti, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, and two tablespoons of parsley. So what we're gonna do first is we put the melted, we're gonna melt some butter in the pan, and I'm gonna add the shrimp, the pound of shrimp, and I'm going to add the garlic and the red pepper flakes. And again, the red pepper flakes was a half a teaspoon of red pe pepper flakes and three cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna get this started right now. It won't take this long at all. Actually, this recipe says it takes like six minutes to make it. <laughs> I guess the longest thing is doing the zucchini, and that really wasn't bad either. I've never bought one of those or used one. I wanted just to get one to see what it was like to use that spiralizer. And if I like it, you know, and if this one doesn't do the trick, then I'll get a better one. But it did, it did just fine for what we needed for. And I only paid on Amazon, we have Amazon Prime, so I only paid $11.97 and it was free shipping. So you can't really beat that. Not paying taxes or anything else on it. All right, we're gonna do that. Milk the butter. Come on, butter. You think you're gonna like this, Daryl? I think so. I've never had, really, I think, zucchini before. No. Nope. It was yeah, never it, it was never on my high-carb diet before. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Somebody asked something about something, you said this isn't fear factor? Yeah. I thought, <laughs> she said she wanted to cook this, and I said, oh my God, another addition of fear factor. <laughs> Eat anything green except for lettuce and English bees, basically. And this pound of shrimp, this is just some frozen shrimp that I got at Walmart. But yep. it says they're Louisiana, so Louisiana shrimp. Please buy Louisiana crawfish. So there is a difference. Louisiana if you can shrimp. find them. It's a big difference. Sides of that steak. All right, I'm gonna add my um garlic cloves. In the garlic cloves, I always buy the mints, so I'm just going to use about two and a half teaspoons of garlic. Or two. I'm going to use two. And then we're going to put the half teaspoon of red pepper flakes in here. I hope this is good. It sounds good. Alrighty. This and you're going to stir them until they turn a little pink. Then, after this, guy, I mean, really, there's nothing to this recipe. All right, we're having a good time. We're here in we're in um, Bryce Canyon, that's right, Bryce Canyon City, or something, Bryce Canyon, it. Utah. Elevation is approximately 7,500 feet. We came up here from Zion because we we're going to start heading north. Uh, it was getting to get hot down there in the valley. 
so we decided to come up here to, to Bryce Canyon. It's a lot cooler up here. Um, and we've so far we have uh, enjoyed ourselves yeah. with uh, Bryce Canyon. Very beautiful. If you've never been to Bryce Canyon, you got to put it on your list. It really is pretty. And you can just come down if you're coming from the north or from the east when you get off Interstate 70. You just come down Highway 89, stop at Bryce Canyon, then take 89 all the way down and go into Zion. So it's it's, it's right on the way if you're coming from the uh, the northeast or from the east from uh, Moab. Real convenient. And let me ask you this, Daryl. Just out of the three here that we've gone to, the arches, well, four, the arches, the canyon, I mean, the canyon lands, the um, Bryce Canyon, Wilson, Zion, and Zion. They're really all four of them totally different. Yep. And they're all, and they're all in the same state. Arches totally is arches. Uh, uh, Bryce Canyon is, is a big canyon. It's kind of like a miniature Grand Canyon, I could call it, but a lot more colorful, I think. Yeah, it has a lot of greenery. Yep. So, uh, it's just, just totally, it's just, they're totally different places, and even though they're in the same state. Yeah. It's an RV adventure. You Sometimes you never know. We were planning on going to the Tetons, but it's still snowing in the Tetons, so we decided to come down here because the weather was great. Otherwise, we would have left Moab and went right to um, the Tetons. So I we may, the Tetons. unless the weather straightens up, uh, we may not be going there. We may be going in a different direction because uh, next week it's still the weather's not going to be that good. So, but we'll see. It, it, we uh, we've got a little bit of flexibility. Uh, we know we're going to be up at Washington State to do a few things here shortly. Yep. So by the end of the month. So, but we're uh, enjoying it down here, um, taking in all the views. Never been here before. It's my first time. Is it really? Yep. I never, didn't that. never been to Moab. Never been to Arches. Never been to Zion. So. I do. And we were so close last year. Had we known, we were in yeah, Page, Arizona. For a week. It's only about an hour's <laughs> drive from here. Uh, we would have come up here for sure. And you're so good about that. I'm surprised you didn't do it. Yep. But we had planned our trip out to, to Grand Canyon with my sister and stuff. So check out some of our, our uh, past videos. We show some uh, pretty stuff there too. All right, so you're cooking the shrimps down. Yep, and the shrimp are just about almost done. Let's get a close up view yep. of that. Can y'all see that? It really smells good. But garlic butter and <laughs> red pepper and shrimp usually do smell pretty good together. You definitely want to cook shrimp, but you don't want to overcook it. You're right. When they start turning pink, it's time to stop. Because they will well, get tough. A lot of people overcook their shrimp. And I think that's what the problem they get is. They don't like them. Right. Because they, they're just not. Luckily, I've got Chef Kim here. She takes care of me. But if you can have you some in a um, crab bowl. Now, next <laughs> week, for all you people that watch us uh, continuously, we're going to get this convection oven out. Yeah, we've had a lot of questions about the convection oven. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some. Somebody wanted the meatloaf, and I have a recipe for meatloaf. So we're going to try. Daryl loves meatloaf. So we're going to do the meatloaf, and I'm going to show you how to do it in the convection oven the way that I do it. Uh, it may not be the correct way, but it works out for me, whichever way it is. And I'm going to show you how to use this so that you can feel like you can use this and not give it any thought when you go to do it. Because to me, this is so much easier than using this oven, and it cooks even, even and it's just wonderful. Yep. So stay tuned for next week when we get the uh, Frigidaire convection oven out and cook up some meatloaf so so now I'm going to add my fourth of a cup of chicken stock to this and I'm going to add the juice for my one lemon over here and I'm going to salt and pepper to taste we don't we haven't really we don't really do a lot of salt y'all so I mean what I use for salt may not be what you use for salt and that's okay. A lot of people use a lot of salt. I don't. Okay, salt and pepper to taste. And then we're going to bring it to a simmer, which it is. Then we're going to put in the zucchini spiraled noodles here. Oh. This is the one I did first. I didn't realize that it had different settings and I used the wrong one. But then, so now we're going to put this in here. All of it. Mm. 
All right, also, as we try to every week, try to share this experience with Kim has a glass of fine boxed wine. aged box wine. It was aged on a truck. But here in Utah, very selective of places to go to uh, get uh, alcohol. Of course, very. it's a state store. And they pretty well tell you what you're going to pay for it. So it's a little bit higher down here than we are accustomed to. Uh, but hey, there we'll was one it. down there in Hurricane. Not Hurricane, Hurricane, Utah, where we stayed. So we bought uh, our wine down there because we just don't know where we can get <laughs> alcohol here in Utah. So we took advantage of it because we may not be able to find another one for a while. Yep. At least we leave Utah. Now this I'm going to let simmer down for um, one to two minutes it says. And then after that I'm going to add two tablespoons of the Parmesan cheese and two tablespoons of parsley flakes. And that will be it. I mean that was easy enough y'all. Really if it's good then it'll, I'll let you know how good it actually is. We'll taste it before we... Alright we'll be right back. Stay tuned. While you have a minute please give us a thumbs up Thumbs down, like, no, don't subscribe. Give us a thumbs down. Yeah, don't give her a thumbs down. Please. Where's your rolling pin at? Get, <laughs> get your rolling pin out for anybody who gives her a thumbs down. She knows how to use it too. Okay, y'all, everything is simmered down. Take a look at it. And I put the parsley flakes, the two tablespoons of parsley flakes in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my Parmesan cheese. There's supposed to be two tablespoons of that, but I love Parmesan cheese. I'm going to go ahead now and just dish one of these up and then Daryl can actually taste this and see what he thinks. He loves shrimp so that's one thing he does like. Oh yeah. Love my shrimp sisters. Like I said, we've never had this, so we don't know. Golly. You want to taste it, Daryl? Yeah, bring it on over here. Look at the show. Show it right there in the camera. There you go, people. Low cal. Low carb. And now we're going to see what it tastes like. Healthy Daryl's going to be the guinea pig. Oh, yeah. Is it good? It's got good texture. Does it? Yep. Yeah. How are the shrimp in it? I love my shrimps. So here we are again. Mm. It's pretty good. Cooking with Kim. I think Daryl thinks it's a little bit spicy. <laughs> no, it's a it's long stringy stuff. You might want to cut those up. It's like having a big long spaghetti uh, noodle. Well, when you get your plates, you can cut your own noodles up. How about that, y'all? <laughs> All right. Here we are again in the it's RV. Out enjoying our adventure. Still eating healthy would and eating have, good. Would you have this again? Yeah. I'm going to have that whole plate here in a minute. I know, but I was just wondering. What are you going to garnish it with? We're going to have strawberries for dessert. I'm going to take them and wash them, and I'm going to put the, take this. You're going to do what to them? I'm going to he, he wash them. them? I'm going to wash them. All right. I it doesn't have an R in it, but I, that's the way I say it. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Like Give this a try. Ahead. Let us know. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We really do appreciate it. Yep. We We're do. getting close to that 1,000 subscribers. We really are. I'm shocked. But we're having a great time doing this. If there's anything else that uh, you'd like us to cook, put it down on the menus. We're making a list of what everybody's saying. That's so right. Start doing it. Remember, convection oven, how to use one. Meatloaf next, next week. Stay tuned. Y'all have a great day. Bye.